Welcome to our video tutorial series on Destiny Library Manager. Today's topic will be using HTML code to edit your Destiny Library Manager homepage. Today we're going to be talking about how you can edit your Destiny splash page using HTML code. First thing you're going to do is click on Edit Page, and then you're going to click on the pencil. If you wish to title your page, you can title your page here. Make sure you spell everything correctly. Now we're going to come down to the body. There are lots of HTML codes you can use. I've created a cheat sheet for you. Um, the first thing we're going to want to do is to center this. This is an embedded video that I got from YouTube. Um, it's the 180 days around the district um, and I placed it on the home page. To center that in front of this, you're going to use your caret and type the code word center and close the caret. At the end of the code, you're going to put a caret, a slash, and center. So now when I click Save and I click Home, you can see the video is centered. Now we're going to talk about adding text. The first thing again I'm going to do is click on the pencil. And we're back at our editing screen. I'm going to click here, give us a little bit of room to work with. And I know that I would like my text to have color and be larger than the average. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to get this code. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it in. Give myself the space again. Now, where it says font size equals, I can choose between one and seven. I'm going to choose seven. And for color, I want it to be blue. So I'm going to type blue. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to type welcome to the Bell Glade Elementary School Media Center. At the end, I need to do the closing code of slash font. All HTML codes need a beginning and an end. In order to check anything, you have to hit save. So click save and click home. And you can see your text on the page. Now, I don't like this to the left. I would like to see that centered. I'm going to click edit again. I'm going to click the pencil. So in front of this, I'm going to put the centering code. And at the end, I'll put the, cent the closed center code. And I decided I didn't like this with the welcome to. I'm just going to get rid of welcome to. I'm going to write Belgrade Elementary School, which will make much more sense with welcome to the Belgrade Elementary School Media Center. I'm going to click Save, click Home, and we can preview. I like the way that looks. I'm going to show you a few more things you can do to your Destiny uh, home page with HTML. We're going to once again click on Edit Page and click on the pencil to open it up. I'm going to put in a line break here. The code is BR. It does not have an end code. It's one of the few that don't have an end code. Now I'm going to add a scrolling marquee. That code is marquee. Add a quote. And I'm going to put the slash marquee, which is the close code for marquee. And I'm going to add another BR, it's that line break. And I'm going to add a horizontal line here. HR is that code. And you can see these codes on your cheat sheet. I'm going to click Save. And I'm going to click home. So we can see we've added the scrolling and we've added the line. 
Now, I think this is slightly too small, so we need to edit that code to change the size. So I'm going to click Edit Page. I'm going to click the pencil. And as you can see here, we could do font size equals and choose a number. So I'm going to copy the font size, come over here, put it in front of the reading. I'm going to change that font size to a number between one and seven. I'm going to say five. And at the end, we have to put the closing code and that's slash font and click save. And then home. And we can see that's, that's about the right size. size. And um, it makes our page much more eye-catching. The last thing I'm going to show you today is how to change your background color. I think this would look better if it weren't white. Um, so I'm going to click Edit Page. I'm going to click on my pencil. I'm going to come over here at the top, and I'm going to add this code, body style equals background. I'm going to type my code in. Oops. And add that number sign. That's very important. I'm going to put my close quotes and close the caret. But in here, after the number sign, we need to choose a color. So I'm going to come over here and click on my list of supported colors. I'm going to find one that I like. I think we'll go. Um, I'm thinking this light blue would be good. And I can see the code is ADD. 8E6. So I'm going to come over here, and it doesn't matter if I type it in lowercase or uppercase, I type ADD8E6. And then I click Save. And when I click Home, it's now changed the background of my page. So when our students come to our Destiny Library homepage, they can see this video I want them to see, Welcome to the Media Center and a quote that means something to me. It's a great way to personalize your Destiny homepage and make it useful for your students. Thank you for watching this video tutorial on Destiny Library Manager. Today's topic was using HTML code to edit your Destiny Library Manager homepage. For more information on today's topic or any other topic relating to Destiny Library Manager, please contact Library Media Services. For more information on the products shared during this presentation, visit our website, librarycurrent.palmbeachschools.org, or visit our YouTube channel, PBCSD. Library Media Services.